The first unit is the Witch Doctor, which is located on Tribal 1. And if you come down to these tree stumps, you see this staff spewing green, ugly, disgusting goop. And if I could just... There we go. It actually turns green and then turns yellow and boom we have access to the witch doctor now the witch doctor is a fairly powerful unit at 3,000 points so i added in some units just act as a distraction so we can see the witch doctor do its job the staff has appeared a purple cloud of disgusting mist is causing the knights to fight their friends and now all you can see the staff summit again green spewed out more purple spewed the Witch Doctor is actually very powerful, able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all of these knights, one after the other. Some have been poisoned, some have been corrupted, and ultimately, now everyone's turning against each other. And the Witch Doctor is a powerful unit. But this, um, before I forget, guys, on the front page of my YouTube channel, there's a link to my Roblox channel. If you like Roblox, go and check it out. And maybe if you get there fast enough, you can be among the first 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Now, Tribal 2 has a shaman. And if you go into the cave, you will find the mystical shaman. Just go around the corner into the cave and look up on the wall and there's a weird painting. Approach the painting and here you will find a fairly powerful, fairly strong shaman. Now the shaman is only worth 1600 points, but he does have some really interesting abilities like the AOE summoning of multiple skeletons. He knocks back his enemies, summons skeletons, and if he can do this fast enough, he can wipe out entire armies. The shaman is a pretty cool unit. Next up, we are here on Tribal Sandbox and take a look at that skull over there. What are we staring at? This isn't the unit I thought it was. Who are you? I came here for the gatherer, but instead I have found the club master. The club master is worth 3,000 points and he sends out clubs and stones to brutalize all these poor hoplites. The little stones, very cool custom model, <laughs> kicking the poor hoplites and slamming it in the head with the club. Now, where was that gatherer? If you come towards this section right here, the shrine to some horrible god, and then hang a turn to the right, go through the trees, you will see a slingshot hanging in the trees, and right there is your lovely gatherer that you've spent all this time trying to find the gatherer. The gatherer is the weakest of the secret units to find. I'm pretty sure these halflings might be able to defeat them. Going in there, smacking them for like 20 damage a shot. The halflings actually can punch fairly well, dealing nearly as much damage as the gatherer, but luckily this big guy is really throwing those rocks hard. And apparently stones are more powerful than hobbits. Now here in Farmer 1, you need to find the butcher. If you take a look at the scarecrow located here at the back, there's something sticking out of the poor guy. Whatever the butcher did, whatever reason he was angry, I don't think the scarecrow deserved it. Not gonna lie, that is the butcher. The butcher is worth 500 Whoa. points here in totally active battle summoners. I thought I'd throw him against a pile of halflings, a pile of hobbits, just to watch him do his butchering. Oh, there's so much blood. Why does he have tiny, tiny eyes? This butcher is just the smallest eyes in the entire planet. <laughs> That's the butcher. Now we must unlock the chicken man. And on this map, there are five chickens with crowns on their head to assist you in unlocking the chicken man. Here is the first one relaxing on the scarecrow with his little crown on his head. Secret unlocked chicken. Chicken number two, if you take a look on top of the building, you'll see another crowned king chicken. Chicken number three after the building is over there on that rock. Another royal king chicken and this is chicken number three chicken number four is over here amongst the hay bales sitting on a cart just buying his own business keeping his eggs actually or her it's a queen chicken this is, these are girls these are eggs these are queen chickens i don't know what possessed me to call them kings but they're clearly queens and here is another queen chicken in amongst the trees up in her nest how the chicken got up here nobody knows but this is where it is nesting. And as you can see, we've unlocked the Chicken Man. Chicken Man is worth 1,000 points and he endlessly and forever summons chickens. He will run away like the chicken that he is and summon chickens to roll at the squires and one by one defeat them. There are two hidden units here on Medieval 1. The first of which is located down here. Take a look at this lovely skeleton guy. 
just chilling, having a good time. Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you alone? Is there more than just you? Say hello to the tower. The tower is an awesome unit worth 3,000 points, constantly summoning units out of it. You have your trumpet guys, they summon the knights and attack these dudes. Your arch is up there, and if you destroy the tower, you still have to fight the units on top. Then you have another unit, the thief. And if you see this big tree in the forest, in the middle of it, there is a dagger stabbed into the stump. Again, what does the thief have against trees? Does he hate nature? Who knows, there's a thief. The thief is another weak unit here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and he stole the club right out of the clubber's hands. That's a horribly mean move, and I guess that is why you call him the thief. I wonder if he could actually take something even more powerful, if he could survive being near something even more powerful. There are three units here on Medieval 2, and the first of which you can just see clearly right over here. Purple flaming double-edged sword. This is the Ignis Slasher, a classic from the mod of hidden units. Boom the Ignis Slasher. This 7,000 point monstrosity summons these swords from the sky and then comes in and <laughs> decimates everything. The Ignis Slasher has always been one of the coolest, most unique units here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. The second unit here on Medieval 2 is a weapon lying amongst these ruined buildings. Take a look, as well as a helmet. Guys, this is the Templar and the Bishop is coming up after this. And let me grab the bishop as well. We'll use the Templar and the bishop together in the fight. Here is our bishop staff standing here, glowing majestically. Templar and bishop together. They're a team. Let's see what the two of them can do. The bishop is only worth 300 points, but he makes his AoE effect clearly healing both him and the Templar. But the Templar has the power of his god with him, and he has summoned this powerful orb. Now the Templar is trying to defend his bishop, healing both him and the bishop from the horde of horrifying hobbits. Over on Ancient One, I don't know if you can see the secret unit. Can, can, can you see it? Can you see it? It's over here. It's a piece of modern technology here amongst a city dedicated to the ancient ways. If I can just get a little bit closer to this lovely helicopter, it is a police helicopter complete with machine guns. And yes, who brings a helicopter to a melee fight? It's truly unfair. It's, it's so gross. It just stands up there and the machine guns just decimate. Oh, the helicopter's funny. I love it. Here on Agent 2, there are three units. And we will grab all three before we fight with them. If you notice this statue here in this tiny little section with the bow, this is going to be none other than the god Apollo. Then you have this statue here with a shrunken head. How did that head get shrunken? It's a minus sign. Minus, less, smaller, shrinking is the philosopher. And then over here on the other side of the map, you've got a guy with a very large torso. He is thick, like he has been lifting weights this whole time. It's a plus sign, it's math, it's the mathematician. I am going to demonstrate what the plus sign and the minus sign can do as soon as they hit. Oh my goodness, this poor ice giant is shrinking and the torso is shrinking and this ice giant's torso is growing and then they're going to die. But over here, Apollo, using his lovely music, is able to take shots with a powerful bow. Watch that shot! Insane! Except the ice giant just punched out Apollo. Ah, uh, that's my fault. Maybe because his chest was so big, he just had more strength. Over here on the ancient sandbox, there are four different hidden units. The first of which is located right here in the middle of the field. There's a shield kind of chilling in the field. That, that rhymed like a poet. I didn't even know it. This unit is actually the ancient tank. After the ancient tank, there is a peculiar looking weapon and horseshoe combo located just over here. Why is there a horseshoe right here? Who uses horseshoes? It's the centaur. Ah, that's strange. Why is there a chicken made of wood sitting in the water? That's really, really weird. Let me just uh, get a little closer to the chicken wood unit. You've guessed it. This is the Trojan chicken. And located at the top of the spire, at the top of the ancient sandbox, right here. Where did it go? It was right here. There is a spear and helmet belonging to an ancient god. This is Ares. 
God of War. The engine tank is three, not two, three people standing on top of each other. The centaur clearly is half horse, half man. The Trojan chicken is like the Trojan horse with units on the inside. And then Ares is just simply the God of War. Let's see these units go in. The Trojan chicken is spewing out units on every side. The centaur is slashing with his weapons, waiting for Ares, God of War, to do something to Zane. There's all the weapons spewing out of Ares. God of War, the Trojan Chicken has been destroyed, and the red units clearly just completely destroy all the blue units. There are three units to find on Viking 1. If you come over here to this frozen section, there's a bear frozen in the ice. You don't belong in there. Get out of there, bear. Let's see what this unit is. He becomes the Warlord. Take a look at this. Oh, there's two. There's two right here. Oh, look, look, look right here on this skeleton. This right here, the shield with the glowing runes of magic. It's the rune mage. And then I guess if we come over to this unit right here, these axes just kind of chilling into the spine. This unit is the reaver. Here is the reaver with his axes and his wolves. The rune mage holding up the shield. And the warlord dealing damage to his own bear is that ha happening right now is he hurting himself in goes the reaver and the warlord the rune mage the shield does some interesting things like that and turns things into werewolves literal werewolves it's insane uh, the the reaver's wolves are just picking up dudes and dragging them around and the warlord is just spinning those axes oh, i love these units now we come to the viking sandbox and there are three units here the first unit is located in this little walled in section of the sandbox and there's something broken apart here and if you approach the middle if you approach one of the parts where do i have to approach to get this to go oh wait wait oh there goes odin the all father then on the far side up on the battlements you see what looks like a disgustingly massive sword sitting there in the distance you get as close as you humanly can before you bounce off the invisible wall and this massive sword belongs to the dread king and when you take a look at the massive gate towards the bottom there seems to be a hammer left behind who could own such a beautiful looking hammer I, I honestly couldn't tell you oh wait it's thor god of thunder and honestly putting all three of these godlike beings on the battlefield at the same time is unfair the dread king covered in ice hands covered in ice massive ice sword thor covered in lightning with a beautiful hammer and then odin sword and shield both of his ravens yeah, these dudes are powerful. Odin summons in spears, summons golems, Thor with the thunder, and the Dread King, as you can see, he seems to like ice. He, he loves ice. A lot of ice. You're not even going to get a chance to see Odin summon his golems. Something you might want to do in your own time. Over here in Spooky 2, we have three hidden units. And if you look around, you're going to see multiple weapons on the battlefield, all of them belonging to a particular um, emperor of sorts there is emperor's naginota oh there seems to be a sword located here amongst all the pumpkins does this sword also belong to the emperor emperor's katana oh take a look through this archway there's something else stuck here i would guess this also belongs to our lovely emperor this is the emperor's naginota and if you just turn around and take a look at this pumpkin with another katana two katana two naginata emperor's katana and here in this lantern looks like another katana belonging to the emperor these are very difficult to find if you don't know what you're looking for emperor's katana and the final naginata is literally standing and sticking out of this poor bridge here the emperor was mad at the bridge he did not enjoy it this is the sixth weapon emperor's lucky not to unlocking the emperor also if you notice this giant sword with a blue light purple light with the vines yeah that is also a devastating weapon in the hands of a monstrous giant this is the grieving titan and then over here there's a chair with some dude sitting in it this couldn't possibly be a hidden unit oh wait it is another god 
joins the fray. This one is Hades, God of Death. All three of these units are very powerful. This Titan is insane with a massive sword. Hades sitting in his chair, summoning hands of death, and the Emperor teleporting straight onto the units. I, this, this fight is gonna be over before anything can even be seen. Look at the amount of effects on the battlefield. You almost need to summon them one at a time to appreciate everything they're capable of doing. These are some of the most powerful hidden units, including how Hades got a death summon Cerberus. That's just so cool. I love these units. These are my favorites. Here in the Wild West, you will find the Prospector. And I think the Prospector, if memory serves me right here, is this tipped over mine cart. Yep, it is the tipped over mine cart. Here by the mines, Inside, you will find the Prospector. The Prospector is just a couple of dudes in a minecart summoning gold and summoning dynamite all over the battlefield, <laughs> running over these cactus units. They're so rare. <laughs> I love the Prospector, he's just a ton of fun. Now we are on the Legacy map, and I believe there are four different units here. The first of which is, the actually might be five, the Flail Master sitting on top right here with his flails just hanging and dangling and not doing much, just kind of chilling. And this is the Flail Master with flails on his head. If you come over to the crater housing the OG Thor, you'll notice a hat chilling on top of a tree with some spider webs coming off of it what kind of creature would have a hat with spiders it is the spider mage and then over here beside the spider mage there's a strange very strange glowing weapon what on earth could this be there's like ammunition all over the ground this is the mayhem gunner now the fourth unit on legacy is a special unit that requires special unlocking features say hello to billy now, you can't quite unlock Billy yet. You're going to try to unlock Billy. As you can see, he'll approach his beautiful sword, his green belt, the hero of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. The hero of sword has been unlocked. Problem is, we have to find the four keys. First, little by Blackbeard, then look to the past, third, buried in sand, fourth, eaten by hell. So we go to the pirate map and we wake our way over to the waterfall into the cavern where we know Blackbeard is hiding because this is where we've unlocked Blackbeard before and now there is a floating key. This is the first key to unlocking Billy, the hero of Tams. Then we must return to travel to the map with the mountain and over here beside the mountain in this section is now our second key for unlocking Billy, the hero of Tabs. And believe me, this unit is powerful and he is worth it. Now we go to Egypt One, which does have its own secret units to find and I will find them in a second. But first we go beneath it to what looks like a pyramid hanging out upside down. Go into the upside down pyramid. Don't worry about the evil giant creature that you see here. Disregard the chicken between its legs because there is the third key for our lovely hero of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Again, ignore the chicken. And finally, head to the fantasy evil realm. There floating in the blue is the wonderful key, the fourth and final key we need to unlock our amazing Billy. But we're not done yet. There's one final step to unlock our hero. We have to return to the legacy faction, head over to Billy sitting there, and then put in the four keys to unlock Billy. The hero of tabs. And uh, um, hold on, look, look right there at the statue. Don't look at his face. There he is, Billy the hero. Here you have the flail master and the mayhem gunner. And over here you have the spider mages because they're not particularly strong. Mayhem gunner throwing lots of damage. The spider mage webbing up the units completely. The flail master unable to do any flailing. But don't worry, the mayhem gunner is a ranged creature and he will eventually explode the spider mage and all those units are wonderful but they don't stand a chance against billy who apparently has a really long neck i don't know why he was randomly spawned that way but billy's beam decimates everything here in the fantasy good section there are a ton of hidden units i believe there is a grand total of four of them one of which is kind of chilling here why is this hula hoop so spiky and so dangerous and so strangely colored in comparison to everything else. The hula hoop's actually a hidden unit and it belongs to the Ethereum. One of the hardest hidden units to find is actually floating here in the sky. It's this tiny little fairy minding its own business, just doing its own thing. It belongs to the Pegasus. Then if you notice, 
Look at the glowing faces on these statues, but look at the statue over here with a mask is actually another hidden unit. And this hidden unit is pretty cool. Not the best, but he's pretty cool. This one is the angel. But speaking of angels, there's a particular angel that we're all interested in. Let's take a look at this giant sword stabbing into the stone. A sword three times bigger than any man that walks the face of the earth. This right here is the seraphim the pegasus the angel and the ethereum are all very cool units ethereum spins the angel has crazy holy powers and the pegasus has a spear and he flies around on a flying horse but um those aren't that's not the unit you want to see you guys want to see the seraphim completely decimate whatever is here on the battlefield there is the giant seraphim and he murders everything he's just he's he's all powerful over on fantasy evil you'll find a place a thing that belongs in hell because this is well it's pure evil money is the root of all evil and this is the businessman and the businessman with his briefcase and his machine gun made of money shoots literal money at its enemies and they explode with coins around their heads it's just money straight money and they're so confused the suitcase explodes it's a money now we are on egypt one and there are three hidden units to find the first unit is in amongst the city on egypt one there's a pot with a snake in it i wonder what this could be oh what do you know it's a hidden unit from the pot it's a snake this unit is called the pot thrower the second hidden unit can be a little bit difficult to find you'd think it'd be here amongst all these dead things but if you come to the side there's a building very mysterious and inside is a very convincing looking horrifying scorpion and if you get close enough to the scorpion he does a jiggle giving you a heart attack you think it's gonna sting you it's not gonna sting you it's gonna become selket and the third secret unit here on the egypt map is located deep in the catacombs it's a little bit of a maze but you want to work your way to the right and try and get all the way to the end that is a dead end i've gone the wrong way see i told you it is a literal maze but you need to make it all the way to the end because there is a hidden unit hidden deep within its depths all the way to this right here the sarcophagus and what do you often find inside of sarcophaguses a mummy there is selcat and oliver scorpion glory the mummy chilling there and the pot thrower attacking all these egyptians the pot thrower got destroyed selcat is summoning scorpions and the mummy is literally summoning the dead multiple dead over and over skeletons mummies scorpions and now we've got rain. Do you see that? Do you see the, 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 the sun being covered? I don't know how the sun was being covered, but it's getting rather dark here. It's almost like one of the Pharaoh's reign of blood, maybe? One of, one of the curses? Oh, there's way too much going on here. Way too many units, way too much lag. Those are the Egypt 1 units. Here on Egypt 2, there are two units. And here, Take a look amongst all of this. This unit's missing his head. Why is he missing his head? And for some reason, this spear is stabbing through the building itself. It's the warrior of Ra. And finally, we take a dive deep into the lake in Egypt. And there on the top of the statue is an oddly shaped looking object complete with a tab symbol on it. This is the boomerang. The boomerang and the warrior of Ra attack these units. The boomerang is weak, but believe me when I say the warrior of Ra, not only does he look cool, he's also very strong and very powerful. Even when he's knocked down, the warrior of Ra ascends into the sky, dropping a final maelstrom of death and destruction. Seems like he receives a second life as he goes to town with this insane weapon on all of these units. The Warrior of Raw is insane. And that is every single hidden unit in Total the Accurate Battle Simulator.